What's up guys, my name is Tom or Tom Shi. Uh, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. <laughs> this isn't a tutorial, Tom, what the fuck are you doing? True, this is it. But uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at two very important PBs to me. Um, you know, these aren't amazing runs. These aren't the best thing you've ever seen, but these runs uh, near and dear to my heart as it currently stands as they're both uh, they're both milestones that I really hope to achieve at some point when I was when I started speedrunning this game and well you know here we are we've hit them um, and I kind of just want to go through and compare the two uh, just watch them both together and just you know see where the differences are so just a few things that I should point out first one I've removed ruined <laughs> completely pointless two uh, these two runs are my 108.59. So close to 108, dude. <laughs> and my 102.56. Please! This is it! I did it! And the reason that we're looking at these two runs is the 108.59, or essentially the 109, is the run that cemented me as the, you know, quote-unquote number one Australian runner for this game. <laughs> It's when I started to really take myself a little bit more seriously when I started running this game. It's when I started putting a little bit more effort into running this game because it's when I realized that, hey, maybe I can actually not be bad. <laughs> and well, we're still bad, so whatever. Another thing to mention is that the old run, the 108, is a 1.2 run, a 1.2 physical run, and my 102 is a 1.3 digital run. So you're gonna notice a lot of loading time differences, sometimes some massive loading time differences. It's just kind of how it be, whatever. Uh, we'll just kind of throw that aside. And last but not least, I am sort of sick right now, so I sound a little bit stupid, but it's cool. Just pretend like I don't have a million years of bass on my voice and it's fine. <laughs> don't mind me. Who cares? Anyway, that's irrelevant. That's about it. Let's let's get going. I'll just I'll just talk and I'll just uh, go through some things and uh, hopefully we can have a little bit of fun with this and see how far I've come. So the 102 run, I um, have obviously kind of scaled in here a little bit to just kind of like. You know, so you can see the actual footage because obviously my layout has changed over time. Um, it's a little bit different now, but uh, it, sh should be, it should be fine. Dude. <laughs> Whatever. So obviously right off the gate, there's a little bit of a loading time difference between 1.2 and 1.3. It's not massive. It's mostly a digital versus physical thing. Um, so it is what it is. It's like yeah it's like a second or something second and a half maybe it's actually kind of crazy but anyway right off the bat we're gonna see some differences in the way that i can handle mario now so on the right i was still obviously learning this movement right at the beginning of cap kingdom this is probably where i started to actually like really take cap kingdom a little bit more seriously uh, although i still sucked so obviously in the 102 you know i'm doing like sp spin throw roll cancels and stuff like that spin pounds out of these cutscenes back in the day you know when that 109 basically it just uh, 108 it just nowhere near did um <laughs> completely different time you know uh keep in mind this 108 is from like september of last year so that runs like now seven months old or something seven eight months um so it's crazy. So obviously completely different strats being used here. Like I'm using far more optimal strats now. I'm doing left side in the 102, as you can see, whereas I'm still doing right side back in that 108. But, you know, it just kind of goes to show that you don't need to do all these crazy strats to get decent times. You know, I feel like this run kind of proves that a little bit because I'm doing like far fancier shit now that I was doing back then. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> whatever, dude. Um, but yeah, so w with that, we're already, we're already leaving Cap Kingdom. Um, I believe I got a 219 in my 102, so that's like a really good Cap Kingdom. And then I think in this 109, 108, or I don't know why I keep calling it 109, in the 108, I think I got like, I think I got a 28. I can't actually see the timer there. You guys can. I'm watching it at quarter 
resolution right now because otherwise the preview window that I'm watching it in is just going to like lag out. I'll try running it full res, see what happens. I might just drop some frames. But that won't affect you guys, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> It's going to be rendered completely separately. So for the most part, same strats here at the beginning of Cascade, except, of course, I'm doing some spin throw roll cancels now. Um, I think I actually mashed a little bit better at the beginning of Cascade in my 108 than I did in my 102. I don't really take mashing seriously at the moment. I kind of just zone out when I do it. So <laughs> I kind of wildly vary. Um, it doesn't lose a massive amount of time, but... I should probably pay a little bit more attention to it. But for Cascade, for the most part, these strats are the same. Obviously, a bit more optimal movement in the 102 than in the 108 just there. As you saw, I had to dive. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to see the same stuff here. We're just doing some basic movement to the dino. Grabbing the dino, doing dino skip. And the beginning of Brood is basically the only major difference that you're going to see in all of Cascade, to be honest. And it's just a spin throw roll cancel strat. And of course, we pull that off elegantly. <laughs> but of course, the 108 isn't far behind. We're still doing spin throws. We're just not doing it as a spin throw roll cancel because I haven't learnt those yet <laughs> at the time. Now, here's the first big mistake in my 108 PB. I missed... Uh, the fast brood strat, which lost me about seven or eight seconds, I think. Uh, that's usually about how long it takes, uh, like how long you lose when you do that. It kind of depends on, of course, how quickly you can back it up. But of course, in this 102, we are just yoink, going straight for the moon. You can see my disappointment. <laughs> Look at me, I'm dying. <laughs> that's, that's about how it goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure in that 108 run, um, I had a massive headache when I did that run. Yeah, as you can see, I'm like, I'm I'm dead. <laughs> but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go. It's just going to be whatever. This was like a massive push for me. I was trying for this for a long time, which is why it's near and dear. But, of course, there's a pretty, pretty much the same movement right after uh the brood multi moon of course we're just going for that uh cliff moon at this point i should probably start thinking about doing the chest clip but you have to do the fast setup and the fast setup sucks so uh, uh yeah, cliff moon sounds good <laughs> but just like that we are both leaving uh cascade and there's not too much of a time difference here i think we're looking at maybe 10 seconds 10 15 seconds difference so already we are probably about 20 seconds ahead coming out of Cascade on my 102 compared to the uh, compared to the 108. <laughs> I'm a bit dead right now. My brain is not at full speed, but it's fine. We'll just keep going here. <clears throat> so going into sand, I actually did the classic old click on class cascade instead of move over to sand. But as you'll see, I'm already caught back up. And the reason I've already caught back up is 100% because of load time differences. So my digital and my 1.3 load time differences kicked in there and actually pushed me back ahead, even though I lost some time to the fact that I clicked on the wrong kingdom. That's how nuts the load time differences are here. And it's why we tell people to update. <laughs> Of course, digital is doing a little bit of a favor there as well, but it is mostly the version difference. Now, Sand Kingdom is the first kingdom that you're going to see a bit of a massive route difference uh, in like my 102, obviously, because it's far, far more recent. I'm doing the DSTA route, whereas in that old one, I'm, of course, doing just the older generic route. Um, so these moons are going to start looking a little bit weird uh, <laughs> and uh, for the most part, it's not going to really make any sense, but we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, I'm just going to start pointing out a little bit of, you know, what's going wrong. <laughs> so while I'm getting the seed moon, obviously in my 108, I'm going up towards Dune. Uh, honestly, I don't 
remember ever doing that roll cancel strat like that, but apparently it's a thing that I did. Who knows? Uh, but you're going to start, you're going to see the first sand mistake coming out right here in my 108 where I just got rejected by the hitbox um, and then I bonked. Classic. This is, this sounds like me, to be honest. Um, so while I'm wasting time, uh, my 102 is currently catching up. <laughs> it's catching up, he said. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> anyway, so in my 108 over here, I'm starting to set out for Dram. Uh, this is where you're going to see another mistake, though. Input drop. Didn't actually get Dram. Loses about seven seconds. You hate to see it. But at this point, I don't think I was actually really trying to get Dram. I think at this point, I was more throwing it in my runs just to get the experience needed to pull it off, which I, of course, did in my 102. Um, because I kind of, uh, like, this is basically just how I do most of my runs. Um strats like dram or stuff like that where it's it just it just requires you to throw yourself at it over and over again until you get it um i would just put that in my runs and just hope for the best i didn't actually get the dive back strat uh the the like the dram dram strat in my 102 um but that only lost me like a second or so so it's not that big of a deal but yeah, so that's like essentially what I would do. I don't think I really started getting Dram consistently until like my 105, 104. So like there's a massive, massive PB difference there. But it's I, I knew that I just had to throw my like throw myself at it and eventually it would make sense. And it does. Now, eventually I got there. It's fine. <laughs> don't hate me. Um, so while my PB my 108, sorry, is currently finished with Sphinx. I am, of course, already done with Jaxi Skip. Now, this 102, uh, I, like, I really shouldn't have been doing Sphinx, but back then it was just what I was comfortable with, so it was what I did. And I think that was the recommended route at the time. I don't think if we knew about doing notes and stuff like that. I don't know if that was a thing or not it's so long ago like there's just been so many different sand routes it's kind of hard to keep track of them all but for the most part i don't know there's just dumb differences but of course in my 102 getting that fast note strat like a mad lad and my 108 is still doing jacksy so <laughs> this is going to be a massive massive difference in pb here um I think the 102 was a sub 5 sand. It should have been. I don't think I messed up anything massive. Uh, but this 108 was probably closer to a 530-ish maybe by the look of things. I can't really tell. <laughs> I don't really have them up in front of me. Um, but yeah, we'll see now. Yeah, we're looking at uh, way past a 5 there. We're looking at like a 540 here, I think. So this was obviously not that great of a sand for me in the 108, but I pushed through. <laughs> I didn't let it falter me, dude. I was like, whatever, we're going to just go for it. It'll be fine, man. <laughs> uh, as I said, I just had a massive headache. I didn't really care. I was like, I'm not going to get it, so who cares? <laughs> lo and behold dude lo and behold we did it we did the thing uh yeah so that's looking like a 540 which is rough even for back then i think that was a rough sand for me like not crazy but yeah that was obviously not ideal going into lake uh you're gonna start you're gonna see some massive low time differences here because i think lake on low time saves like like one or two seconds like it's, you could see that like i'd already skipped the cutscene. like lake lake for some reason just has some massive low time differences plus i didn't skip that cutscene in the 108 all that great but anyway you this is a kingdom there you're going to see some massive improvement because lake kingdom used to be a really bad kingdom for me but uh recently lake has become one of my best kingdoms which is kind of weird 
how that works. <laughs> Still not doing late clip though. I should probably do that eventually, but I don't feel like it's necessary yet. Um, oh, what am I doing in this 108, man? <laughs> okay, dude. I don't know what that is. But yeah, so you're gonna start. You're gonna see like some far, far improved like handling of Mario here. Obviously, some older strats in this 108 doing dives, missing cheap, cheap. You know, just just general mistakes like that. Like what a lot of people don't realize is that it's just these little things that just lose you a lot of time. And I I say it all the time, but I feel like people just kind of take it and don't really understand it but like uh, I, I mean it you know you watch these two side by side and you're like wow like i'm already done with the fish moon and it's literally just because in my 108 all i did was make mistakes now you're gonna see i actually did make a mistake here in my 102 i dove too early uh and i bonked but i'm still ahead of this 108 so you know like this is the crazy differences, you know, like just having general movement and like general clean movement can kind of make up for some stupid mistakes. I mean, all in all, I don't think I lost too much time in that lake in the one or two. I think I still got a sub three. Of course, that's because of 1.3 low times and whatnot. But even still for not doing late clip and bonking there, still getting a sub three is good. It's a bit of a bit of a giggle there, to be honest. Uh, I felt like such an idiot when I bonked there, and I was actually very tempted to reset when I did it, <laughs> as yeah tend to be. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just keep going. And I think, I think I had a thought where, in my mind, I was like, I remember verifying somebody, <laughs> and they made like a, a similar mistake and through my mind i was like that person got a really good time and they made a mistake like this so i'm gonna keep going and what do you know it was the exact same run <laughs> oh my eyeballs right now uh sore i just got a little bit of gunk in them but anyway so next up we're going into wooded you're gonna saw uh, you're gonna see some see some goodness here as well my wooded used to be terrible i mean it still is terrible but back then it was far worse i don't believe i did nut clip back then i don't yeah i don't think i did it i don't know when this 108 was i need to search that up i'm just gonna pull that up mm -mm -mm. don't mind me boys <laughs> But, like, right out of the gate, you're going to see some handling differences. Obviously, I failed to pick up the rock. I slowly got the bunny. Um, just, like, these little things, they add up. And they add up massively. As you can tell, I'm already towards the shop. Whereas in my 108, I haven't even got the moon yet. So, it's a bit of a hack. Um, so, this 108 was nine months ago. When was that? Oh. Heart skip fail. Feels bad, man. 21st of September. Um, now, you're going to see me do the tree route here in my 102. I haven't quite got this down yet. I actually only started implementing that recently. So, you're going to see me make a bit of mistakes regarding it a little bit later. Um... And that just goes straight back into the dram thing. You know what I mean? Like, I just throw myself at these things and hope for the best. Uh, August 10th. So, no. I uh, Nut Clip had been known for about a month. A bit more than a month. But I wasn't quite doing it yet because I didn't feel like it was necessary. But, of course, in the 102, I'm well equipped with that. And we're going to see me pull that off graciously while my 108 is bonking like a dump. <laughs> As it, as it tends to go. Yep, look at these great movement skills. Oh, and I got walled out by the stupid ramp. That's that's about right, dude. <laughs> I am not even surprised there, to be honest. All right. I believe I actually get fast pipes here. Let's see. These are old strats by me. While well, my 102 is flying through the stage, my 108 is currently hoping for the best. And the best shall come because I pop off. 
All right, cool. There's some general movement mistakes going down on the 102, if you're paying attention to that at the moment. Uh, I didn't get the fast onion boy. I didn't jump properly. Yeah, just a bunch of little mistakes. Oh, the slow mace climb. Classic. <laughs> making hella mistakes uh so as you'll see regarding the new wooded movement i hit the poison uh which lost me a little bit of time i didn't get the triple jump because i still haven't quite figured out the turning there for some reason i always overshoot it i need to lab that out a little bit more but uh and then you're gonna see the biggest mistake here i bonked <laughs> uh this is still new to me i need to figure this out but the actual FRS went by really smoothly, so that's all we can really hope for there. <laughs> we'll get there, dude. As I said, I just got to throw myself at these things, and eventually they make sense. Like, I know I'm really uncomfortable now, but I also know that over time, uh, it'll it'll just sort itself out. It, it'll wait, dude. <laughs> I'll get there. Who cares, man? All right, so I've... I am, of course, getting the story moon in my 108 currently, which is why I'm hella far behind. Oh, apparently I up threw it my 102 and I hit the onion boy. Oh, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Pretty sure I started feeling like the run was falling apart here in Wooded, but uh, as we all know, it wasn't quite. It wasn't quite. All right, so there's just some general small differences over in the 108, like not roll boosting off the platform up the top. Um, let's see how I go in the maze here. Oh, that, that is an old strat, but hey, it works, it works, man. <laughs> you do you, Tom. No no onion boy shenanigans, so saving time. Woo! <laughs> I'm doing it, dude. I'm doing the thing. How crazy is that? But here is where you're going to see the difference in the routing, of course. Uh, look at Tom go. He's doing spew it. Wow. Whereas 102 Tom is currently doing pipes in a speedy fashion. But of course, spew it is a bit of a slow boy. So we must do what we must do. Not really much to add on to in this point it's just top of sucks wooded sucks and the difference is literally the topper animation uh my old wooded was a bit of a heck bit bit of a bit of a slow boy i wasn't really that great at wooded to be honest <laughs> i'm still not i still make a lot of mistakes there but for the most part we're all good um Leaving at 2030, which isn't horrendous. Um, actually, I wouldn't be because I am chopping this up. <laughs> that is not how that works, Tom. The math doesn't add up. Oh, apparently, I didn't know how to get a globe. That's cool, too. Wow. All right. Sick. <laughs> Lots of mistakes coming out today, boys. Yikes, man. Oh, well. Whatever, dude. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. That's that's just how that be. All right, let's let's uh, let's move on here. I'm actually gonna skip Cloud, to be honest. So it's it's the same. There's the only difference there really is loading time differences. Like literally, it's only a three second difference. So we're just gonna remove that and. Uh, Move on to Lost. All right, so three, two, one, and go. We're in Lost Kingdom. Wow, that's crazy. Look at these loading time differences. How does that work, dude? <laughs> that's actually insane. Like, I'm already... Oh, my... Wow, I didn't realize that was so crazy. Holy moly. I'm already in Lost before 1.2 even bothers to load in. Okay, that's crazy, man. Apparently, I spin-pounded in my 108. I don't do that anymore because I think it's stupid. It's crazy how, over time, I decide to not do some stupid things. <laughs> Even though, for the most part, I do a lot of stupid things. Like that. That strat. That's very stupid, but I do it anyway. You'll see a more tame version in the 108. Whatever side I decide to put it on. I don't even know, dude. 
But for the most part, a lot of my lost movement should still be the same. I think I had to back up in my 108 here because the pillar wasn't quite in the right spot because I was a little bit behind the cycle. But for the most part, I do most of the same movement. My 102 is, of course, just a little bit cleaner. Um, but you will actually see a little bit of a lost mishap coming up in my 102. So if that's what you're into, watching me be in pain. Ah, actually, yeah, no, I do cap dive there in my 108, which is a little bit old and outdated. <laughs> I don't think there's much of a difference there, but it is what it is. Uh, but for the most part, it's, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Lust hasn't changed at all, so it's just improving. But I do actually miss the pillar there in my 102, and I decided to back it up by getting the stone moon instead, um, just because I figured that it would be a better backup. So what you're actually going to see here, uh, and I bonked as well, which was a bit unfortunate, but what you're actually going to see here is my 108 actually, no joke, pulling ahead, I think, does it not? Ah, uh, yeah, I grabbed onto the tree. Yeah, so my 108 actually pulls ahead here in Lost. This is the only split, obviously, in the entire run where my old, old run actually had a faster kingdom, even after loading time. So that's that goes to show that even I, you know, even once you get these crazy good times, you can still make a lot of mistakes and still pop off. But yeah, I think it was like a difference of like, a second or so uh, yeah. embarrassing to be honest <laughs> but hey lost is just one of those kingdoms better than dying and wasting more time i suppose but i kept going um i figured why the hell not we were still really far ahead of pb so i was like why not and uh you're actually gonna see a gold split here for me my 102 uh i had a really really good night metro so you're gonna see Oh my god, that 108, dude. <laughs> what was that? How did that not die, man? Okay, that's crazy. Don't do that, dude. <laughs> Don't do that in runs, please. But, uh, yeah. You gotta see some... Some good stuff here. I'm actually, like, just genuinely, like, really interested in what kind of movement my 108 had. Ooh, so a bit of a mishap there. Kind of getting stuck on the wall. That can happen. It still happens to me. All it takes is a little bit of misplacement and... That's about it. Um, sorry, I just had a blind moment. Nose a little bit there. But uh, yeah. So no Goomba jump in my 108. Uh, that was a little bit off in the horizon. And doing some weird triple jump. That's optimal, Tom. <laughs> Bonking into the pillar. Still hadn't quite figured out why that happened yet. But uh, we know now, I guess. Uh, the movement in City Hall for the most part, going to be exactly the same. Only real difference is I do a backflip here in the 108, whereas I'm a spin pound boy now in the 102. I can't remember if I messed that up. In my, no, it was a gold, so it wouldn't have been a mistake. But uh, my 102 actually had a little bit of a flag mishap here. Uh, somehow I still managed a really good gold, even with that. So that just goes to show that I still have some improvement there, to be honest. Oof, rough bonk on the 108. Happens to the best of us, dude. <laughs> it is what it is. But, uh, nice movement, regardless, I guess, after that. <coughs> We're getting there. But, uh, as we enter the Wiggle of Fight in the 102, we are over halfway done. Uh, in the 108, we're almost done in the 102. Um... I hadn't quite figured out how to do the first phase quite optimally. I was kind of just hoping for the best and wildly shooting. It's not quite how we go about the Wheel of Fight now, but, uh, you know, back in the day, man, it was just hoping for the best. <laughs> but uh, I got a really good pattern here in the 102. Like, actually, probably the best Wiggler RNG I've ever gotten. Um, so it's going to be really hard to top that. <laughs> it's not every day you get the best RNG you've ever ever seen, so... Yikes, man. What kind of RNG do I get here in the 109 or 108? Oof, actually not that good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the worst. Wiggle, I had to stop, though, so it's not crazy good either, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll do, I guess. It'll do. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Whatever, dude. 
but I don't know. That's Wiggler for you. What can you do? But just like that, we are out of there. I think that was something like... I would say a 340 maybe. Maybe a little... Maybe 330. I don't really know. I skipped lost split, so I couldn't quite see. But uh, here you're going to see some improvements that I've made straight off the bat. Look at that. Boom. Camera manip strat. I don't know if I did that in the 108. No, I didn't. I guess I just didn't know it existed yet. But uh, that's a thing you can do. I had to back it up because I am angled my spin pound wrong. Crazy. <laughs> Who knew, dude? But this is just general little improvements that you can kind of add over time that just fix things a little bit. I didn't get drive by here in my 102, so you're actually going to see me lose a little bit of time. Big oof, but, you know, mistakes happen, I guess. Back them up as best as you can and hope for the best. But, of course, my 108 was not doing scoot clips, so I am just incidentally losing a fair bit of time there anyway. Um, and, of course, no fancy dram strat. Oh, I went for it. Didn't know how it worked. <laughs> was hoping for the best. I'm actually very surprised Cappy didn't home in on the actual pole. Maybe I shook too early. Might have been it. Oh, having a little bit of troubles there with the bench friends. Feels bad. I used to have a lot of issues with that, just accidentally jumping too early because I didn't wait for the dude to talk. Oh, having a bit of trouble with the pole as well. Man, 108 Tom had a rough day. Oh, dropped inputs too. Man, I cannot catch a break. <laughs> Yikes, man. That's that's rough, dude. That's rough. Oh, great he's raining me, dude. Buggers. <laughs> Alright, so you're actually going to see a little bit of a route difference here, too. Apparently, my 108, I did uh, the old musician route instead. Um, I could have sworn I started doing the new one far earlier than that, but I guess my sense of time is a little bit skewed. What would I know? So you're actually going to see two completely different parts of Metro being done at the same time. Wow! <laughs> Crazy. Oh, look at me go for the fast strat. I'm doing it. Nice, dude. Not quite as fast as it should be, but um, I guess that all comes with time, right? <laughs> Crazy how that works. Oh, I got the spin pound. Dude, I was popping off. I, I guess it helps to be slow. <laughs> Holy moly. No, nope. ah, I bonked those, so. Guess it doesn't really matter. Here in the 102, you're going to see the sketchiest jump I've ever done in my life. Somehow that worked, dude. Somehow that worked. Yikes. All right, so while I'm doing the people room, you're, of course, going to see a little bit of a faster dive here. Just going straight for it. Oh, actually, I forgot I bonked. That's right. I had to kind of back it up a little bit. Oh, and then I got hacked by the camera. I got I got destroyed in the exact same spot, dude. Oh, feels bad, man. No spin pound either. Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I had a really bad Metro in my 102. I just made a lot of mistakes here. And for some reason, the hint art wouldn't come out, so that's a thing, I guess. I wasted a lot of time there. Oh, uh, well, there you go, dude. <laughs> I, mean, guess, I guess I can uh, sort that out soon. Heck. Anyway. You see a little bit of a faster people's room. Now that I'm a bit of a speedier boy. I'm actually really interested in my movement here in the 108. What do I do? Do I just dive dive? Oh yeah, that's right. The dive jump dive. True. I forgot I used to do that. But uh, just like that, 102 boy is done. Whereas 108 boy is still in a animation. So I should be warping after this. Yeah. Okay, cool. <sighs> Sorry, boys. <coughs> the sickness is getting to me. <laughs> but we're only like halfway through, so 
Can't be going and getting sick now, dude. What is this going to be? Is this going to be a five minute? I think it is. Uh, no, not quite. Five, seven. Uh, four, five, seven. Oh, it's a 58. Okay. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Whatever. This is this should be another kingdom, though, that's quite interesting to see the difference in because Snow Kingdom for me is far better now than it used to be. I used to have a lot of issues with Snow, um, but over time, Snow has kind of just become a, a bit better of a kingdom for me. Like, it's not... I'm not amazing or anything, but, you know, just... I generally feel more confident going in, which is good considering I do Snow Drip. <laughs> I kind of have to have that confidence, I guess. But right off the bat, we're doing completely different movement. And I guess it helps to see that difference. So Tom's over there talking to Toad already. Apparently, I went on a completely different side of Toad. I was not very optimal <laughs> at all. At least I'm doing the triple, dude. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. What the hell was I doing? Oh, I needed coins. I didn't have enough coins, dude. Yikes. <laughs> 108 Tom got hacked. Didn't do Seaside first. Feels bad, man. Oh, that's rough, man. Done some old strats as well. All right, I imagine I grab some coins and then go straight for the shop. Yeah, okay. Old route, old route. Uh, I didn't get the clip in the 102. True. Uh, but you're going to see the route difference here, obviously. As I've improved, I've incorporated snow dram, so route changes up quite a little bit. Um, getting that sweet, sweet triple jump off the platform. You are not going to see that level of optimization in the 108. <laughs> oh, got rejected by the wall too. That sucks, man. Had a little bit of spiny issues there, but no big deal. Recovering quite quickly. <laughs> oh, spin pound issues too. 108 is a bit rough. Oof. I'm trying to go for some fancy spin pound strat. I don't even know what I'm doing, apparently. But uh, 102 Tom's just flying right now. 108 Tom entering the poison room. <clears throat> Do I get the triple jump? Oh, oh popping off, dude. Look at me go. Apparently, I didn't know what I was doing. <clears throat> That's nuts, dude. Interesting. No fancy spiny manip. Uh, gonna have to wait a little bit to see that kind of action. Uh, for the most part, I, I I feel like I had pretty decent movement, actually, in my 102. I don't think I made all too many mistakes. Just a few little ones, which is fine. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Oof, didn't get the spin pound in the 108. Yikers. Oh, no cap throw to change direction. I uh, don't know why I wouldn't do that. But uh, 102 Tom's currently getting the shop moon to set off a snow dram. And 108 Tom is hoping that the Goomba didn't kill itself. <laughs> Literally. It actually probably would have, so... Glad I made the smart play. And, um... Oof. Didn't get the moon, though. Oh, apparently I'm doing some weird spin pound strats. I don't... I, I honestly would have just told you that I never did that, but I guess I did. Uh, Snow Dram, of course. Easy. Literally free. Apparently, I didn't get the spin pound on the chest, though. Don't know what that's all about. Tom? Uh, <laughs> didn't quite get the Shireen jump that I wanted either, but that's fine. Why did I try and spin pound out of that? Oh, okay, whatever. 108 Tom's a bit of a dummy. Didn't quite know the strats, but that's fine. What kind of Rango room did I have? 
Was it a good Rango room or a bad Rango room? Uh, I'm going to say probably bad. <laughs> uh, yep. 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 Just like that. <laughs> Not the best. I hated Rango room, dude. The geometry and just the randomness and just, uh it sucks. Even now I hate it. I don't think it's a good room at all. <laughs> it's hard to do optimally because I don't know if anybody's really gone out of their way to figure out which way is the most optimal. Um, and of course it doesn't matter to me now, does it? <laughs> the only category that I play that does that is dark side. And ASM actually. But uh, just like that, we are out of Snow Kingdom. And on to Seaside. I'm very interested to see my Seaside in the 108, actually. I don't remember how bad it was. <laughs> there is a bit of a route difference as well. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how terrible I perform in the 108. Um, but we'll see. I think my 102 had a okay one. Oof, never mind. Apparently I'm making mistakes left, right, and center. Ooh, I actually had to back it up in the 102. Oh, but I bunked in the 108, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, dude, whatever. Mistakes in Seaside all around. But you see, there's a difference. In the 102, I knew that it wasn't going to make it, so I just decided to bail out. Whereas in the 108, I just thought I'd risk it. Which is probably not for the best, all things considered. It almost cost me the 108. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. Dude, how did that work? What? <laughs> That's nuts, man. Ooh, dropped input too. That's rough. Oh, oh I'm trying to wall jump, but... Old strats, man. Yikers. Hated that 2.5D section. Still kind of do, but at this point, I'm not all too fussed about it. So here's the big route difference. Obviously, I'm setting up for fish clip in the 102, whereas back here in the 108, we are going for the notes moon. No fancy rocket flower refresh. I didn't do that for quite a while after this PB. Uh, wasn't on my mind all too much. Oh, I am having some trouble right now, dude. What am I doing? <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Well, we're grabbing the gushing. Yikes, man. That's that's a that's a rough go right there. Uh, swimming instead of spin throwing. Interesting strategy, Tom. I imagine I'm probably gonna fish bonk left, right, and center as well in the 108. I wasn't very good at seaside. <laughs> I wasn't very good at controlling the fish. As you can see, my uh, angles are all over the place as well, to be honest. Not the best, but it is what it is. I don't think I've noticed any fish bonks, though, so that's good. Relatively clean, relatively clean. Oh, uh, am I going to get hit by that seaweed? Oh, no, but I have fish bonks, so there it is. There's the bonk. <laughs> 102 time is, in fact, already done. Speeding on out of here. And I think that would have been a 3... 3x. Maybe. It might have been a low 3 or maybe a high 2. Because I did miss that jump in the beginning. We'll see. What was it? Oh, no, it's a high two. Okay. That's not that bad, then. But, of course, 108 Tom is going to get a 350, uh, which is not amazing. What is my... I can't see what my gold is there because it's zoomed in on my screen, but... That's a thing, apparently. <laughs> Oops. Not the best seaside at all. Big heck, man. Alright, I'm gonna mute myself here, and I'm gonna blow my nose while loading times happen. Don't mind me, boy.
and we're back. <laughs> Ugh, big loading time differences, obviously. Luncheon will be interesting. Um, not only because I didn't have that great of a lunch at my 102, but just because you're going to see some different level strats going on. Oh, no, apparently I go for the salt pile in the 108. That's crazy. Oh, but I fuck it up. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, I fucked it up in the 102 too. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. But relatively quick backup compared to a relatively slow one. And I think that's more important. But I did have to health refill, so that kind of evened it out a little bit. Bonk in the 108, not so much in the 102. Interesting. I, I don't know. This just kind of fascinates me, just kind of seeing the little differences and how it impacts the overall time of each kingdom. It's it, it, it it's crazy to watch, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird, dude. But uh, nothing too interesting about the Spirit fight except for the fact that apparently I suck at it in the 108. I don't know how that's even possible, but it is. Oof, taking damage too. That's embarrassing, man. Yikes, dude. Oh, taking double damage. What are you doing, Tom? I'm throwing, dude. <laughs> Yikes. Hmm, big oof. Oh, a bit of a mishap there in the 102, too. Bit of a giggle. Oh, value dive, too. I remember that. I seem to be getting that a lot lately. I think I need to readjust the angle that I'm trying to attack. I think I'm trying to go to... I don't know, too sharp. And it's just causing the game to freak out a little bit. A little bit of geometry goofiness there, but... Oh, well, whatever. Recover quickly. Fix the mistakes. I hope for the best. Oh, apparently I took damage in the 108 as well. Just can't win, man. <laughs> Luncheon's just out to get you, no matter what skill level you're at. So just, I don't know, hope for the best, to be honest. Oh, bonking everywhere. It's interesting to see there, actually, the difference of, like, where I aimed Cappy. Um, a little bit more optimal now than it used to be. That's weird <laughs> i guess i just didn't risk it back then oh cap dive what is this ew do i do the box strat i went for it but it didn't work that's interesting i wonder if i was doing it successfully back then all right i was trying to go for the uh manipulus in the 102 but I didn't get quite the... Oh, what am I doing in the 108, man? What is going on? <laughs> didn't quite get the spin pound direction that I was looking for, so I decided to back it up with the manip instead. Which was probably for the best, honestly. I think it would have saved me more time compared to just hoping that the other one worked. And of course, in the 108, just going straight for the manip because I was a scub. <laughs> but uh, already leaving Forks and 108 Tom hasn't even gone into Forks. Ooh, having a little bit of trouble with the Lava Boy. That uh, feels bad, man. Oh, I remember this luncheon, dude. This was a rough go. But backing it up quickly is just as important as being able to pull it off in the first place. And I think I did that quite well in this PB. Um, just watching it back, I'm actually quite impressed with that. This I'm not quite impressed with, but being able to back those other ones up quite quickly is very good. And it's what's going to save you a lot of time. Cheese sucks, but what can you do about that, I guess? Yeah, look at me spin pounding everywhere, dude. I used to think I was the shit. <laughs> Just spin pounding for no reason. All right. Wow. Apparently I was better at landing on that platform right at the edge back then than I am right now. Good to know, I guess. Wowie. <laughs> I must suck now all of a sudden. That's interesting. 
Look at me try and go for the spin pound strat, but v massively like underestimating the angle of attack that I need. And then cheese being cheese. Oh boy. All right, I'm not having too much trouble anymore in the 102, but I do actually wonder what happens with the 108. I don't know what kind of movement I was doing back then. It's just interesting to see how I'm just doing like slower versions of like what I do now. <laughs> it's crazy to see like just the general movement differences. I don't know. It, it, I, I like seeing it. I don't know if anybody else likes seeing it. I think it's cool to see how I've progressed over the last nine months. It's quite a big difference. Ah, so I didn't even set up the vault. Okay. That almost bonked, too. Ooh, what am I doing, man? Oh, yeah, I didn't do the fancy stuff back then, so you're going to see me do my own version of how to do this. Ooh, that was very bad. That's a bonk. Yep. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Do I go for the spin throw? No, I just cap throw. Okay. That was a very optimal dive there, actually. What the hell? Who am I? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, dude. It is what it is, I guess. But, uh... That was a big... Bit of a big difference there. And of course, time just... Ah, straggling along. Right, I'm gonna skip ahead. Um... Okay, Tom, I am now... 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, we are now in Bowser's Kingdom. As I said before, right at the beginning, I skipped Ruined. Because literally, the only difference is, of course, loading time differences and just general little mishaps. It's a boring kingdom, alright? We're not gonna go over it. <laughs> but, uh, look at these loadings, man. This is kind of weird to watch side by side. But, uh... Bowser is, of course, quite linear, so you're going to see the same route, but you're just going to see different levels of having control of Mario. Bit slower on the 108 end, obviously. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to see, actually. Because in your head, right, you're obviously always thinking that you're at, like, the 102-looking level, but obviously you're not quite there yet. Apparently I had a bit of issue with the Ogre, which kind of almost synced us back up a little bit. But, you know, mistakes will be mistakes, I guess. I think all up in Bowser's Kingdom, I lost about six seconds in the 102, so... Not much to save there. <laughs> I might be wrong. But I think it is. Who knows, dude. No roll cancel in the 108. Almost rolling off the edge, too. Bit of a worry. Oh, yeah, I missed the shard, too. That's rough, dude. But, of course, I do dive back shards, which saves me time over the 108, which had, in fact, pulled the head. So, there you go. <laughs> Bit weird how that works. Of course, that only saves me time because I pulled it off. You know, if you can't pull it off, then you're obviously not going to pull back ahead all right no route differences which is good i think i've for the most part always done this route in bowser's so quite quite a quite comfortable with it although you are going to see bowser dram in the 102 and i very very clearly did not do that in the 108 i don't think it was a thing yet to be honest because I picked it up relatively soon after it was found. Or found. Uh, started to be in use. But uh, yeah. 102 Tom pulling ahead. Oh what the hell is going on over there dude. I don't remember that happening. And on to the bunnies fight. Big. Big oof. Am I going to do the strat? I am going to do the strat. Go me. 
I think I only do it for the first phase. I might do it for the third phase too. I don't... I don't know what I went for. I don't know if I risked it. Because I quite... I haven't quite figured out the visual cue that I need yet. I kind of go off feel, and sometimes that just doesn't work. Do I do it? No. Okay. I didn't risk it. I got four hopped, though. I do remember that, yeah. I wasn't quite in the right place, which sucks, but you hate to see it. <laughs> but both had relatively clean Harriets. Let's hope for the best with Topper. How does my 108 go here? Still doing the exact same strat. Cool. Good to know that I've always been able to do that. <laughs> Literally never had an issue, I guess. Ooh, mistimed my jump. And I don't know where Topper is. That's rough, man. Getting top. Oh, taking the double hit, too. Yikes, man. Oh, Topper acquired? Oh, there he is. Oof, almost took more damage. Yeah, I lost a fair bit of time there. Go figure. Bit of a bit of a rough go there, but it happens to the best of us, I guess. It is what it is. <laughs> now we get to see some sick mech action. Ooh, get walled out, Tom. That's rough. When that happens, that kind of sucks. There's not really much you can do about it either. You just kind of have to accept your fate and hope for the best, to be honest. But, uh, what does my 108 friend go for? Oh, I just go for a classical... Oh, pfft. Yeah, alright, Tom. <laughs> what is that? Oh, gets goddamn rejected, too. That's rough. Just mishap after mishap, man. I guess that's why it's a 108. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. Oof. Not quite going for the fast strat either. Dude, how did that not hit the... Oh my god, okay. I was lucky. Alright. How does Bowser... Not Bowser. How does Mech go? Oh, bit of, bit of, bit of a leg mishap, I guess. If I remember correctly, at this point in my 102... Oh, I dropped the bird, man. <laughs> in this point in the 102, I was well aware of the fact that I would have to do target acquired if I wanted any chance of getting the 102. Of course, now, knowing that I got a 56, that's bullshit, and I still could have done the old one. But in the moment, I was acutely aware of the fact that I would have to risk it all and hope for the best. And, uh, as we know, it paid off. But what does 108 Tom do? Uh, some just oh, slow mech strats, but it's fine. No issues, right? I've always done Goryuya fucking topper the same. Oh, apparently I ground pounded. When the fuck did I do that, dude? That's weird, but sure. I'll accept it. <laughs> if it worked, it worked, I guess. Can't really argue with that logic. And of course, no target acquired, as that is long, long in the future. Oh, ow, what was that bonk, man? Oh, having a bit of Harriet issues. Yikes. But just as I'm exiting the mech fight, 102 Tom is leaving altogether. Oh, having a bit of a mishap there with the <laughs> globe as well. That's crazy. But uh, let's move on to Moon. Whoa. There is a 30 second difference in those mechs, just in case you were wondering. That's crazy. Um, three, two, one, Moon Kingdom. What kind of difference are we looking at here? Oh, I don't know. I didn't actually split it at the end yet. So, I don't know. 
I think they'd be probably pretty similar because I had a really bad moon kingdom in my PB, I think. I think I had a 3x, which is not good for me. Because I think I lost time. It was a bit of a rough one. I haven't been doing too crash hot in moon lately. I need to work on that, but... Uh, for the most part, you're going to see the same kind of movement, obviously, just vectoring, hoping hoping for the best. <laughs> um, uh, for the most part, loads are kind of the dictating factor here. Oh, that is not what I want. Oof, taking a bit of damage there. Oh, I didn't get the second flower. Okay. That's a bit of a bit of a rough go there. Um, what the fuck am I looking at, man? Oh, here we go. All right, one, 108, Tom. Not quite sure what the heck to do in this scenario. <laughs> Apparently. I don't care. I had a 525 in my 102, which isn't horrible for me. That's only six seconds off gold. Then again, my moon gold is really old, and I should probably work on fixing that. <laughs> I could improve that by a lot, considering I haven't even saved time on 1.3 yet. So that's cool. I should probably do some moon. Nah, dude, fuck it. <laughs> you need some moon gold. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, okay, Tom. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, bud. Um... But of course, we're just going through the Bowser fight. Not much to see here. I do wonder if I got all the cycles in my 108, though. What happened in Tom's PB? Hmm. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, yeah. Look at me do these first-person strats, thinking that they did anything, and then quickly finding out that they, in fact, did not really do anything. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well. Shit happens, I guess. Uh, Alright. Phase 1 complete. Shouldn't be too bad, then. One oh two Tom flying through the stage. Already punching Bowser in the testiculars. Meanwhile, 108 Tom is trying desperately to catch up. No luck, though, so far. On the last phase, hoping for the best. Gets it. Like a boss. Not too shabby, Tom. Not too shabby. Oh. Almost fucked up, though. I'm pretty sure at this point in the 102, I thought the 102 was dead. Um, it wasn't actually until I think I got into Pillar's room that I realized it was still possible. Oof. Rough go on 108, Tom. Kind of a little bit of a mishap there, bud. <laughs> Ooh, almost missed 2D skip too. Okay. That would have sucked if that caused me the 102, man. If I got a 103 off that, oh, I would have been so mad. That's disgusting. Okay. <laughs> I am so fucking lucky, man. I would not have been happy. I would have been cranky to him. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Anyway, Tom entering Pillar Moon while Tom is setting up for 2D skip. Um, how does that go for Tom? Not too bad. Not failing it. So that's good. Instantly saving time over 102 Tom. Not that it really matters, but hey. Uh, so if I remember correctly, I didn't get fast pillar, the first one. Yeah, I had to, I had to shoot a fireball and hope for the best, which is rough. Missing that loses you a bit of time, especially because I opted to try and back it up. Oh, well, sucks to suck, I guess. Considering I... Oh, I didn't even get it there. Okay. 
That is rough. Considering I only lost six seconds to gold on this split. Yeah, that's... Uh, my moon can come down by a fair bit there. But just like that, I am entering the wire. And 102 is locked and loaded. We have completed the beast. While 108 Tom is still doing pillars. <laughs> I had the exact same issue. I didn't get fast pillars in both, dude. <laughs> Okay, man. Whatever. Apparently, I don't know how to get milestone moon PBs at all. Whatever. Yikes. <sighs> but at this point, I thought the 108 was dead and it was going to be a 109. I was fine with it because it was still going to be the one spot, number one spot. And there's the realization. My pog face. What? <laughs> Crazy. This is Headache Tom, very happy that he got a run that would dictate that I could move on to world, Underworld Peace. And then return to any percent two or three months later. <laughs> Don't mind me, boys. I came back stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway. That's, uh, that's it, though. That's the difference between my 108.59 and my 102.56. Um... A five-minute difference in PB times, as you can kind of tell in these massive, massive difference in uh, just splits in general. It's kind of crazy to watch back. Um, but you could see that I had the potential, you know. I had it down. I just had to get better. And I got a little bit better. So it'll be interesting to see where I might maybe be nine months from now if I continue playing the game for nine months. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely another four months are locked in. Um, but it's the five months after that that we'll see what happens. <laughs> Who knows, man? Anyway, uh, this has been really fun, actually. Just kind of seeing the the difference in skill, I suppose. Um, just, just, just seeing like some of the bad decisions that I made in the 109 compared to the level at which I'm able to back up failed movement now, it's very interesting to see just like, like straight on. Like this is the kind of stuff that you would never really remember. You know, it kind of just falls in the back of your head, but being able to witness it again is quite interesting and, I enjoy that. I think it's really cool. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> if you made it this far, I applaud you. Thank you for making it this far in this random video that kind of is useless. But this is something that I really wanted to do. And I really enjoyed doing it. So, if you did make it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch me do some runs of Super Mario Odyssey... Head on over to twitch.tv forward slash Tomshi. That's with three eyes, boys. The link will be in the description, of course. I stream five-ish days a week. Five to six normally. Uh, unless I'm sick. <laughs> so head on over there. Consider hitting that follow button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. There you go. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> Peace out, boys. I'll see you in the next one.